What's up YouTube? My name is Mark and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So today we're going to be talking about hunting out of a saddle and I'm sure you've heard a lot of people talking about how comfortable these things are. But they're not just comfortable right out of the box. You've got to tune it to fit your body and I'm going to show you how to get as comfortable as possible using a saddle. Alright, so the saddle that I've got, this is an Arrow Hunter Merlin. Uh, they currently have two saddles in their lineup. It's this one, and they have the new Flex, which is a new version of their older, very popular saddle called the Kestrel Flex. And they're basically the same exact saddle, the difference being uh, that this one's made of like a heavy duty mesh material, whereas the other one is a, a like a solid material. So uh, this is a great saddle. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why I chose this saddle. Um, and it's basically because of the adjustability that these saddles have, and it allows you to dial in the saddle to fit your butt uh, and, and just the structure of your body better than any other saddle that I know of. So let's talk about some of the features that it has. So right off the bat, one of the things that stands out about this saddle that's a little bit different from some of the other saddles is that it has an extra loop here. So most saddles will have this large loop and that's what you attach your bridge to. And then they have a lineman belt uh, with loops right here. And that's obviously what you attach your lineman to so that you can be safe while you're moving up the tree. But this saddle comes with an extra set of loops here. Now there's a number of options uh, for what you can use that for. Um, and you can see here, I actually have a redundant bridge attached to that, but I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about some of the options that you can use this extra loop for, there's gonna be a video up here in the right hand corner. You can click on that and uh, that'll cover some of the options that you can use this loop for. Most of the comfort in your saddle is going to come from uh, this loop here, your bridge, and how the bridge and your tether can be adjusted. And I'll show you all that when we get outside and attach to a tree. And then as I mentioned, we've got the lineman loops right here. Now these are a little bit different from the way that it was in the past. Um, you'll notice that if you look at the old flex, these loops were actually twisted uh, 90 degrees, which meant that if you were using a carabiner, you would have to come in from the top or the bottom. And that made it really difficult to hook uh, one of these other loops. Now, some people have uh, said that they're concerned about the fact that these are now on the same plane as these other loops, because what if you came in and tried to hook into that loop, but you caught one of the other ones, and then your... Um, your gate doesn't close on your carabiner and then you put your weight on it and you know who knows maybe your carabiner could break if you uh, put a lot of force on that uh, and that could potentially be bad however i have spent well over 100 hours in this thing and i've never even come close to doing that and the reason is because even though it kind of looks like these are on the same plane right here they're they're actually not because once this belt which uh, goes around your waist is tensioned you can see that this loop actually sticks out off the side which means that when you're actually wearing this thing it's sticking out at almost a 90 degree angle to these other loops which means that when you're hooking in you're actually coming in from the front and pulling back or from the back pulling to the front so you're not even close to these loops so i think it's a really great design uh, it's just a little bit deceiving when you lay it on a table like that, but uh, it's very safe. It, it makes it very easy to use and very easy to find in the dark. So now let's talk a little bit about the bridge. So one thing that's really important with a saddle, and you, there are other saddles that have this kind of functionality, but not all of them do, and this is a really important one. So this is a adjustable bridge, which... It, you know, some people like a fixed bridge, some people like them adjustable. I personally really like the adjustable bridge because it means that I can kind of change the pressure points uh, when I'm in the tree and kind of find my sweet spot. It's really easy to adjust. It's got a little buckle here. You just pull it through, grab the other side and just pull. 
um, and it goes right through. Um, now I like to keep my bridge nice and long like this, uh, but you may find that your body uh, likes it a little bit better shortened up, so you can basically just fiddle with that and figure out where you want it, and I'll show you that out in the tree. Another great feature about this bridge is that on each side there are uh, these loops that you can girth hitch onto your bridge loops. So I'll, I'll just show you. You can loosen these loops simply by loosening that girth hitch, and that's then going to allow you to slide along your bridge loops. And this is really important because when I put tension on this again, it's going to tighten down, it's going to lock that in place, and it won't move anymore. Now, I obviously don't have tension on it, so I could still move it, but it tightens up, and you know you can see that I have way more bridge loop on the bottom here than I do on the top. And for my body, for the shape of, of my butt, this works out really nicely for me. I like to have that top a little bit shorter, um, and it, it puts very even pressure on my back and under my uh, my butt with these straps by doing it like this. But I have talked to other people that find that it's better if they move it a little bit below center, which is very different to me. Um, so it all depends on the shape of your body and having that adjustability is really gonna help you find the, the sweet spot. So those are the important things to look for in a saddle um, to, to have maximum adjustability. Um, and then we also have our tether uh, and the adjustability in that. There are two pretty common setups that you'll find in a tether. This one right here, this is the one I like to use as my lineman. And this is simply using a Prusik knot uh, on a piece of uh, Samson Predator rope. This stuff is really strong. It's rated to like 6,000 pounds. Um, and I have what's called a tender uh, attached to here because a Prusik knot allows you to slide this rope in either direction as long as you put pressure from the other side. So if I pull on this side, it's going to move. If I pull on this side, it's going to move. But if I pull on this carabiner, that knot locks up. Same if I were to go the other way. But this tender won't allow it to lock up to that side. And that means that I can adjust I can shorten my tether with just one hand by pulling on this rope. One thing that's really nice about it is that uh, it doesn't have really any metal parts to it, so it's a little less clangy, um, and a lot of people really like using that. Another really popular one is a uh, mechanical uh, adjustable thingy majigger, um, and we call this thing right here, this is called a Ropeman 1. Very popular. Um, they're about $50, and basically it's the same concept as this Prusik knot. Um, you just pull the line through, and it only goes one way. So if you pull on the other side, it locks up. If you want to move it the other direction, you have to pull on this little tab and open it up, and it will slide. So this is another very popular uh, tether option, and having that adjustability to move your attachment point along your tether is uh, very important to finding your sweet spot when you're trying to get comfortable in the tree. So now let's go outside. I'm going to show you how I get everything dialed in. All right, guys, I'm at a local park right now, and I'm just going to demonstrate real quick uh, how I tether in and how I adjust everything on my saddle to get as comfortable as I possibly can when I'm in the tree. So just like when you finish climbing up your tree, You're going to start out uh, attached by your lineman. This means that you're going to be able to work hands-free when you're up there. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to get your tether in place and get everything adjusted. Let's get out our tether. And we're going to start out by girth hitching the tree. And all that this means is you're simply wrapping this rope around. We got a loop on one side, we got the carabiner on the other. We're going to pull that carabiner through the loop and then pull tight. And that's called a girth hitch. Now I like my girth hitch to be approximately at chin height. So what I do is I get it right about at my nose, pull it tight, and then when I pull down on it, it's going to be right about at chin height. Once you've done that, clip into your bridge. 
you can close your screw your screw gate at this point so that you're nice and secure. I'm going to take up the slack and now we don't need our Lyman loop anymore so I'm going to detach from that and at some point I'll usually uh, daisy chain that up so it's small and out of the way but for the time being for this demonstration I'm just going to leave it dangling right there. So now I know that I like my tether to be attached to the tree at chin height which is where it is right now and yet this is not comfortable for me and that's because there's a lot of other things to consider to be able to get comfortable uh, in your saddle one of the adjustments is your bridge some people like them shorter some people like them longer now both of those have their advantages if you make it longer there's going to be less hip pinch because the angle that you're bridge is pulling inward at is going to be smaller now I'm a big guy I'm pretty wide which means that that angle is exaggerated so I like my my bridge to be nice and long in fact I go almost as long as this thing will allow me now obviously I'm way out here now so I need to shorten my tether to make up for that difference so that my angle to the tree is not as drastic I like my tether to be about four to six inches there we go now much more comfortable now you're gonna have to figure out where you want your bridge to be but if you make it shorter even though it's creating more pinch you have more freedom to move around the tree because my tether is so short if I go around my tether gets caught on the tree and really I can't get much further than this uh, without me being pressed up against the tree. Now one way that I personally deal with that is I make sure that I can go the other way as well. So I can rotate into my saddle and I can turn and go this way so that I can still shoot 360. But you might not want to do that. You might only want uh, to turn one direction to get your shots and that definitely is an advantage if you can take 360 degrees uh, of shots by rotating in one direction. Definitely an advantage. For me personally, I'm sacrificing that mobility for the comfort because I'm a heavier guy. But if you're not as heavy as me, you may want your bridge a little bit shorter and your tether a little bit longer. Now one thing to also keep in mind is that not all saddles come with an adjustable bridge. So having that adjustability really is going to help you dial in your comfort and your maneuverability in the saddle. Now the good news is that you can buy an adjustable bridge and pretty much attach it to any saddle that you want. Uh, and some people will even make them themselves. So it's not the end of the world if you don't have an adjustable bridge, but it's something to consider when you're buying your saddle. Obviously it's nice to have that adjustability. That's one of the reasons that I really like the, the new Arrow Hunter saddles because they always come with that adjustable bridge. You don't have to worry about whether you attached it right. Everything's good to go and you're ready to rock. And that brings me to the tether attachment height. What are the advantages to having it lower or higher? Well, if I make it lower, like this, this is probably six inches lower. I'm going to have to shorten up my tether just a little bit to accommodate for that difference. But what this does is it makes it so that the bridge comes off of my body at more of a perpendicular angle. This is going to be more comfortable for me because the bridge isn't hitting the side of my belly. Again, this is more of a problem for bigger guys. It also means we're going to have more control in rotating around that tree because the angle of the tether is more perpendicular. One of the advantages of raising your tether up higher and having a longer tether, that when that angle is smaller, it's a lot more comfortable to sit. If you're the kind of person that thinks he's gonna sit a lot more, having that tether up high is gonna make this sitting position significantly more comfortable. So if you're a sitter, you may want it up higher. If you're a stander like me, you're gonna want it down lower. 
or somewhere in the middle because I do tend to shift back and forth between the sitting and standing position. And finally, that brings us to probably the best feature of these Aero Hunter saddles, and that's the ability to adjust your uh, bridge loop attachment points. And this is really easily done, and I'm going to just show you what happens when I adjust it. Right now, I have it pretty much set the way I like it. You can see when I move this out of the way that I'm much closer, my bridge is attached much closer to the top than the bottom, which means that I am, uh, you know, a little bit above center. I'm going to move it to center just to show you what a difference that makes. And keep in mind that if you have a saddle that doesn't have the ability to adjust, you're basically going to be stuck with this center position. All right, so that's centered. And I can tell you immediately, there's so much more pressure being put on the bottom of my legs here. Um, and that's really uncomfortable for me. Now, if you do have the kind of saddle where you don't have that adjustability of being able to move your bridge attachment points, you can alleviate some of the tension on uh, the top or the bottom of your saddle by adjusting the length and height of your tether. So I can lower this down. And shorten up my bridge a little bit. And that's going to transfer some of that tension upward. But honestly, even still, it's still more pressure on the back side of my legs than at the top of my back. I would have to lower it down even further to get it to be even. Um, so, you know, this, this is definitely a huge limitation when it comes to the comfort of a saddle. So if you got in a saddle and you thought to yourself, this is not really that comfortable, it might be because you just didn't have it adjusted right or that that saddle didn't allow for that adjustability. But keep in mind that once you have your saddle set up uh, in the positions and adjustments that you like that fit your own body, you don't really need to make very many changes after that. Um, when I get up into the tree, you know, just basically depending on the tiny differences in where I put the, the, um, the girth hitch of my tether, I may have to make slight adjustments uh, in the length of the tether uh, or the position of my bridge attachment. Um, and when I say minor adjustments, I'm talking about, you know, doing like a quarter inch slide and sitting back down into it. And that can make a huge difference. And in fact, I'll do that throughout the day. Uh, when I'm sitting up there, if I do end up having a little bit of a pinch point or a pressure point somewhere uh, throughout the day, and, and that's kind of inevitable, uh, even in a tree stand, um, you know, if I'm up there for six hours or more, I really start to get some pressure points. Um, and you want to move around and, and switch things up and change those pressure points. And that's really easy to do by simply just moving the bridge attachment points. If I do even as little as a quarter inch movement of this bridge attachment, it feels like I'm sitting in a brand new saddle, like I haven't been sitting in it at all. Um, and when I'm up there, you know, that's what really allows me to stay in my saddle for extended periods of time so that I can hunt all day long. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you uh, and that it gave you some idea of the kinds of things that you need to adjust to get your saddle to be comfortable for you. And when you hear people say that saddles are incredibly comfortable, know that they're not lying, even though the one that you tried out maybe wasn't that comfortable. You really just have to fidget with things get it dialed in, but once you have it figured out, once you know what works for your body, I promise you, you'll be sitting in your saddle just as long as, if not longer, than you did in your tree stand. Thank you guys for watching, and if you like this video, make sure you give it that thumbs up. Um, if you got any questions, drop them down below in the comment section, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that now. And you know what, if, if you like this video or any of our other videos, Maybe uh, share one with a friend. Just go down below, click that share button, and send it over to a buddy. We'd really appreciate it. And with that, I'd like to thank you guys for checking out our channel and watching this video. We'll catch you guys next time.